Beyond that match, Jim, what are your thoughts on AEW now running a series of house shows? Should they do this every single weekend? They had a lot of matches that people thought weren't necessarily marquee matches. Like you said, Moxley was probably the big draw, the big star on the show, local guy. Not necessarily a high-profile match. What should these house shows be? Well, that's the thing is if they're wanting to make money with their house shows and they do have a dedicated fan base that will come to various points and see them, not 52 times a year like the old days, but they can't. That's the thing is they do need to put their younger talent on the house shows to get them more experience, but they still have to have main event guys or then it becomes you know, basically a fucking training show that you're renting a big arena and expecting people to come in in, in fairly large numbers. It, you can't have both of those things. Maybe on the first couple of matches, yes, you can have some guys that are a little greener or whatever, but you've still got to book some of your names and some of your top guys. It can't just be a training match program unless you're... <laughs> You're fucking booking them like training match programs and smaller buildings where the guys can have some time and do whatever the fuck. But, you know, they're going to kill their house show business if they put every fucking greenhorn on the house shows and none of the top talent. And I, like I said, Moxley was there because it's close to his hometown and there were very few other names on the program. Uh, let's see the next one they do, what that lineup is. Are they going to try to go close to a fucking main event guy's house so he can be on the card. I don't know. But again, from what I saw, if there was 3,000 people at a fucking house show and they saw that match, I would be shitting myself if I was the promoter. Never wanting to fucking do that again. If there was 150 or 200, that's about what they need to get some fucking experience. There were reports earlier this week that Moxley didn't necessarily want to do AEW house shows. And I wanted to ask you the question about, if you're one of the AEW stars, someone who's been there since the beginning, the Elite, Moxley, whoever may be, MJF, any of these guys who have been pushed as top guys in AEW, and you've been getting paid and working a certain way for three and a half years, four years, whatever it may be now, should you be expected to just work the house shows? Well, it's so bizarre to me just to hear wrestlers that don't want to work the house shows. I only want to be on TV because again, well, not only is that half assing it or thinking that you've uh, reached a status in the wrestling business and maybe you've, you're putting yourself in a little grandiose position. Oh, I'm above that now. I'll only do the TV. But when we started in the business, you, you did TV. So you'd be on the house show. The only way you got to be on the house show is if you'd put up with doing the fucking TV, right? Now it's completely flip-flopped. Oh, I don't want to do house show, just TV. But, I'm so, you know, if Moxley didn't take stupid bumps and fucking slice himself from asshole to appetite all the time, maybe he'd have more get up and go and energy to want to do the house shows. But the house show- I believe show, he bled, by the way, too, on the house show. Oh, of course he did. No, I saw the pictures, yeah. Because he's got to do that, too, for some reason, because he's demented. But, <laughs> again, if they want to, why do it unless it's a business and they're going to make money? Either th if they're going to open up a developmental program so some of their wrestlers might be able to learn how to work and not fucking kill each other, that's a positive. But if they're going to be doing house shows attempting to draw and make money, those lineups need good cards with top guys on them to sell tickets so the people will go and have a good time and they won't get the word around that all oh, shit all we saw was a bunch of fucking greenhorns you know doing a sloppy two-step with each other and one main event guy so that's one thing secondly these alleged wrestlers are going to have to learn how to work house show matches in big buildings which are not the same thing as working TV matches in big buildings or working indie matches in any kind of building. Because they're either going to be going 100 miles an hour because that's what they're all doing on the indies, or they're going 100 miles an hour because they only have a certain amount of time on television. 
But now when they get in a big building for a house show, that's where they learn to work. That's how they learn to get their personality over. That's how they learn to fucking get with the people and fucking work them and what what the people respond to and what they don't and take their time with it. If they're out there running through the goddamn thing at 100 miles an hour, like they do the TV matches and the indie matches, then they're not getting the benefit of the big building and the big crowd. There's always, there's different style. And then let's say that all of their AEW house shows are not just Troy, Ohio in front of 3,000 people. Might they goddamn work up sometime to where they do big non-televised house shows like the good old days where you got to buy tickets, see what's going to fucking happen. And then you want your big lineup because you can make a ridiculous amount of money in wrestling on house shows if a lot of people buy tickets to them. That just hadn't happened in so long. I know it's it's dimmed people's memories. But uh, so I, I... They're trying to do everything, but that's Tony. He tries to do everything. Yes, he needs a developmental program. Yes, he needs a goddamn identity for his entire ring of honor promotion that is just going to be more put together matches that make no sense um he needs somebody to promote and book his series of house shows if he wants to have them that understands the house show business and how not to have all the guys go out there and do tv matches where they get hurt or fucking embarrass the goddamn whole promotion but he's also got pay-per-views to take care of and he also a new reality show. And he's going to be popping the corn for the Jaguars at intermission. So yeah, they need a lot of shit going on over there. 